Look, Dr. De Silva, I know my father will feel better if he sees me. I'm sorry you're involved in his trauma somehow. The visitors he had last week caused him a great deal of anxiety. But I'm his son. I'm sorry. Who's going to stand by him for the trial? I don't think there's going to be a trial. I've diagnosed him not competent to stand. Then what's going to happen to him? Well, you'll have to speak to his lawyer about that. His lawyer? My father doesn't have a lawyer, doctor. The one's been hired for him. By whom? By Mr. Wheeler. He hired Stryker Bellman, a fine lawyer. Wheeler hired him? Apparently he's quite concerned and he wants your father to receive the best care available and the best legal assistance. I don't understand. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. You'll excuse me. Thanks. Wheeler, you and I have something to get settled. Dennis, what in God's name are you doing here, son? Don't call me that. As for God's name, I think you gave up the right to use that a long, long time ago. All right, what shall we call you? Burglar, then? Is that the word? I'm sure your mother didn't raise you to break into other people's offices. Look, I'd say let's leave Mom's name out of this. But that would be a little ridiculous, wouldn't it, since you're about to marry her? Anyway, Mom's involved with what I have to say to you. I know what you have to say, Dennis. Don't bother. Hey, it's no bother to me. And if it bothers you, I'm sure you can call your dogs or your guards or whatever. But until they get here, you're going to have to listen to me. No guards. I'll give you five minutes to say your piece. That's more time than I give anybody else. Go on. Yeah, well, listen. Uh, you may be Mr. Big around here and everything. I know that. You own half of Houston. Half of Texas, for all I know. Two-thirds. Look, I don't care how big you are. I'm giving you a warning. You leave my father alone. I may not have any money or any power, but I can get to you, Wheeler. I know just how to reach you. If you give Elliot Carrington one more moment of misery, I will. Oh, I will. I swear. Sweetheart, here I am. Okay, you all ready to go face Cyrus? Yes. And Wheeler, too. Come on, come on, what we got here? Uh, cream de almond. What we got? Half a bottle? Still good. Find out. Yep, still good. What else we got here? Chartreuse. What you doing? Cleaning house? Nope. Warming house. Guess it's gonna be tending bar at that family party over at the Wheelers. You're kidding. <laughs> but I kid you, my buddy, huh? You dog. You got the invitation? Would I have called you if I didn't? All right. Hey, <laughs> where is it? Right here. Good look man. That. Let's go look hey, that. look. No, hold on. Get, get, hold get, on. Get hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Man, we got look it. We at got that. It. It's ruined. You're gonna have to get another one. Hey, no way, man. I had a crazy time trying to get that one. Tried to steal it. I almost got caught. Yeah, but look at it. I can't give that to the boss. It hit the roof. Well, tough. What? 
Don't sweat it, huh? I mean, look here. We... See? It's fine. Just let it dry out a little, that's all. Well, okay. I guess he's just going to have to say he had an accident. Yeah, me too, man. They asked me how come so late. Do me a favor, Bernie, huh? Would you give me a hand getting the stuff over to the house, huh? Well, now? Well, that's why I'm running so late, because I helped you with that invitation. Come on, man, the reception's going to start pretty soon, huh? All right. I guess I wouldn't mind seeing a fancy house like that. I haven't been in one of them since before I got sent up to Huntsville. For safe cracking, right? Um, yeah, that was part of it. Hey, uh, you wouldn't pull nothing like that again now, would you? Who, me? When I'm in, into making adult movies, I got all the money I need legit. I don't have to crack no space. Darling, will you fasten this? Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. You know, I haven't seen this since... The night you took over the club for yeah. us. I told you how very much I love you. Not in the last two hours. You must really just fasten the necklace and stop, mm. please. No, it's all right. We're married. Vivian says it's all right. <laughs> I'll get it! Ooh, is she always that loud? I so. Dennis! Yeah. And, and Paige, his wife. Mrs. Carrington? Sure. I'm not looking forward to this. No one can tell you the radius. Dennis, darling, how are you? Fine, Mom. Listen, Alex, I'd like to talk to you before the reception starts, Oh, right? Dennis, please, this is no time for an argument. Of course, let's talk out this, Larry. Hmm? Fine. Excuse me? Goodbye. Oh, Iris, everything looks so lovely. Oh, I really do appreciate this wonderful welcome into the family. We don't have to pretend when we're alone with each other, do we? Horace, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't love my son. And most likely never will. But then it won't be the first such match in history. You're referring to you and Elliot, I take it. Among others, yes. Too bad. There's just nothing you can do about it. No, isn't there? I told you not to underestimate me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. That's very wise. You mentioned Elliot. Actually, I was uh, able to make him quite happy for a while. And you will do the same with Dennis. For as long as you are fortunate enough to bear his name, you will be a faithful wife. Do you understand? You're going to make him happy and you will not indulge in the sort of behavior to which you are no doubt accustomed. Well, you've certainly got that all worked out, haven't I'm you? I'm not finished. After a few years, when you are divorced, and you will be, make no mistake of that, Alex and I will see to it that you receive a settlement, contingent upon how well you have managed to behave yourself during this marriage. My goodness, you have misjudged me, Iris. I'm just an old-fashioned girl. For me, marriage is for keeps. What settlement could possibly replace that? A reasonable sum. Oh, no, 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 darling. That just won't do, you see. I don't want a reasonable sum. No, I'm sure you would prefer an unreasonable sum, but you won't get it. I don't want it. What do you want? I merely want to help Dennis take his rightful place in the world. As Alex's son and heir. And as the new head of world order. Oh, please. Don't look so surprised, Mother dear. That's not very different from what you want, is it? Oh, come on, Iris. Let's be friends again, shall we? Really, I think we would both do better if we just put aside our personal differences and work together on this common goal. Because if we don't, we could lose so much. So much that we hold dear. Don't threaten me. Threaten? I wasn't threatening you. I was making you a promise. 